get shot, you're doing it wrong. If you get shot, record, you're fucking doing it wrong, guys. Come hall. on. Barry, you're fucking a beautiful motherfucker. Did I ever tell you that? Hey guys, I saw Bear here. Today I'll be talking about update 27 for Foxhole. Bear, this update fire. iterates Everybody on the previous man. update and adds a few quality Bear. of life changes Everybody to Foxhole. Let's get started. Everybody Starting with the world map. Now, when you press spacebar while you're in the map screen, the map should center itself on your position automatically. The world map is also automatically centered on you every time you open it. And a new feature is map posts. Map posts replace squad markers and map callouts. In this way, by right clicking on the screen, players can post information on the world map directly, and they can customize the message associated with it. Other players will then be able to read this and reply to these. Posts can also be upvoted or downvoted, affecting the post's lifespan. So hopefully, wasteful or inappropriate posts will have a very short lifespan, while useful and helpful posts will be boosted and last longer on the map. The next change is for logistics. Introducing the resource container. It's really just a large dumpster. This container is used to store and ship large quantities of raw resources. Here's how it works. Build the container at the construction yard. Package it and transport it onto a flatbed truck and send it off to go collect some resources. Once at the resource fields, remove it from the flatbed truck with a crane, unpackage it, and then simply mine your resources and throw them into the container. Then, once you repackage it and reload it back onto the flatbed truck, you can transport it wherever you like. If you transport it back directly to a refinery, you can offload it there, unpackage it, then you can tell the refinery to absorb all of its contents directly, straight from the container, as long as it's close enough. This makes the transportation of raw resources far more efficient. The next change is Operation Stockpiles. Please note that this feature is currently unrelated to the Map Operations features. So the Operations in the top right corner of Map Screens does not have anything directly to do with Operation Stockpiles. These are completely independent entities. What Operation Stockpiles do is securely stores crates and vehicles that are to be used for a specific operation. Once an operation start time has been defined, equipment can only be added and not retrieved from the stockpile, and players must have three other squad members in the region to schedule such an operation at the operation stockpile. Some other changes include, before a conquest begins, resource placements can now be re-rolled dynamically if the distribution is deemed a little too unstable. The resource distribution algorithm has also been tweaked such that components and sulfur are now more available in the backline regions, providing hopefully a more stable experience for the war. Structure build sites with no materials in them can now be destroyed when rammed by a vehicle, so engineers know you can't just place a fence at the last second to stop a vehicle from running your ass over. Construction vehicles and cranes can also now be submitted to storage depots or operation stockpiles. Materials can now be converted to a crate at any crate stockpile, like operation stockpiles. This change was made purely to still allow materials to be stored in shipping containers after they removed messy shipping container hacks from update 26. The trooper that locks a flatbed truck can now lift any shippables off of it even while it is still locked. Players are no longer allowed to enter enemy claims construction vehicles. This is a short-term change to address the low barrier for claiming backline enemy towns. Refinery stockpiles are now preserved through its destruction, so even when they are rebuilt, they retain 100% of the items they once had. Some balances include, armored cars now consume diesel instead of petrol fuel, howitzer shells high explosive material cost has been reduced from 40 down to 20, the motorcycles have had their inventory capacity increased from 1 up to 2, Motorcycle fuel consumption rate has been reduced by 33%, making them overall more useful. For light tanks, production part refined material cost has dropped from 1,000 down to 700. 
The 40 millimeter standard shell has had its high explosive material costs reduced from 100 down to 60. The armor piercing round has had its high explosive and refined material costs dropped from 100 down to 60. The high explosive round has had its high explosive material costs reduced from 200 down to 140. And the shrapnel round has had its high explosive material and refined material costs dropped from 20 down to 10. And the light tank's petrol consumption has been decreased by 20%. Light tanks and field artillery have swapped positions in the tech tree. Diesel assembly times have been reduced by 50%. RPG base damage has been reduced by 15%. Flatbed trucks off-road and turning speeds have been reduced. Shipping container decay speed has been reduced by 50%, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of those shipping container barricades. High explosive grenades are no longer stackable, however, they do 15% more damage than before. It's a little bit of a trade-off there. Gun nest health has been reduced by 15%, and the chance to yield tech parts from components has been reduced by 35%. This is roughly equivalent to the rate of yielding tech from salvage over time. Some other changes include a few extra observation towers have been added to the world, and ladders have been reworked so that they're actually usable. There were some bug fixes with this update, but I'll save that for the patch notes down below. That does it for this update. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, and spread the word by sharing this with all your fellow troopers out there. And as always, good luck, keep your heads down, and stay yeah. in your foxholes. Bear out. Well, it was worth a shot, I think.